This is a uh, guide track. This is guide track, boys and girls. Uh, it is a plugin that allows you to use this to uh, set up like, you know, Q tracks, slate tracks. Uh, we have over a hundred plus MIDI files built into the plugin uh, called what some people call slates. Some call them cues. Uh, but it's the stuff that you've heard before. You've heard this before. It sounds like this. Intro, two, one, two, three, four, verse, two. One, two, three, four. All right, we map these to the keys. So on the keys, Intro. you have different verse. cues. Verse two, verse three, pre-chorus, chorus two, bridge, vamp, tag, outro, repeat, break, breakdown, change, drive, stab, modulate, solo, turn around, back to the top, modulate half step, modulate whole step, drive it. You know what I mean? And then we've also got different voices. So we have like the American voice. Back to the top. Go to church. Praise break. Praise break. Take it out. You know what I mean? These are just different ones that you can use. Uh, the Back to the top. Solo. Breakdown. Repeat. Bridge. Verse two. Intro. You know, so you got different ones. British male. This is one of my favorites. Break. Two. One, two, three, four. Drive. Stab. Modulate. Solo. Turn around. Back to the top. Modulate half step. Modulate half stop. Modulate whole step. Drive it. Stab the one. Raise break. Oh man, I love I love his dialect and the way that he just did, does things. It's really, really cool. Uh, British female, that's what you heard before. Uh, we even got Spanish. Repetir. Dos. Uno. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. Verso dos. Precoro. Verso tres. Coro dos. Repetir. Interludio. You know what I mean? Uh, we've got the uh, Spanish female as well. Repite. Dos, tres, cuatro. Vamp. Dos, uno, tres. Precoro. Coro. Solo. So you have those in there. So it's just a really, really dope way of being able to, um, to create tracks and create your guide tracks, whether you're using them for uh, live performances, whether you're using it for church, whether you're setting it up for the gig, we all know the, the, the pain point of trying to create these tracks. So let's dig in here and let's kind of see what guide track is. So first of all, uh, this is the interface that you're privy to. Uh, it's very simple here. All of your voices are right into here. You have all of your click and slates over here, which I'm going to show you that in a second. Volume for the clicks. You have uh, master volume, audition, stop. Fade in, fade out, split track, verb, and brightness. Now, here's something that's really, really dope. Now, we got two tips. They're right in this little area right up in here. It'll pop up if you mouse over something, and it'll show you what that thing is. Um, you know, if you mouse over it, it'll show you what it is. But we also built in uh, this little help button right here. And the reason we built this in is to be able to help all of us with uh, programming because a lot of times you don't know where everything is on the you know keyboard. So as you can see, everything is lined up. We have numbers. One, two, three, four. Now here five, in the six. this section, we have sections. Intro, verse, verse two, verse three, pre-chorus, chorus, chorus two. You have commands in this third section. Repeat, break, break down, change, drive, stab, modulate, solo, turn around. Right. And then up here you have phrases. Back to the top. Modulate. Half step. Modulate. Whole step. Chop it. Drive it. Stab the one. Go to church. Praise break. You know what I mean? Take it out. So you have all of those right there. And it's very simple commands uh, that will allow you to just kind of get down and dirty. But also what we did is we brought in this click and slates browser with this little thing that says drag and drop MIDI, right? So let's say we got this click here. Like, you know, we have all of the different clicks. You got four, four. You got four, four, double time, click, all of those things. That's what the audition button is. So I can hit audition and it'll play my click. If I want a double time click, if I need a six, four click or a three, four or a six, eight, you know what I mean? We even got odd time signatures like five, four, you know what I'm saying? And speaking of the click, you can control the volume of the click down here. But not only can you control the volume, you could change the click type. You know what I'm saying? Or you can go to click three. 
more traditional type click or drumstick. You know what I'm saying? So it's really, really cool uh, to be able to do that. I like the cowbell because it's kind of like my favorite. But let's say you got a click that you want to, you can't run this live. This is not something uh, that you that you run live. You know what I mean? Like you don't run that click live. That's what the uh, audition button is uh, right here. That's the audition, whatever click or slate that you have. And then if you want to add it to your project, like this particular song that I have that I'm programming out for an Easter service, you know. We all know that that's glorious day, right? So now that I have the 4-4 click, let's just say I want to do the double time click, you know, for us. I can take that and drag this out straight into my session, right? Here in Logic, easily just drag that MIDI up there. You know, when I'm in Logic, I can just hit the L button. And now I've got my click in there. And if I want to go something more traditional, maybe I don't like that click, it's, I'm not vibing with it. That's the whole vibe of how you can do that, right? Also, we have the Slates browser. So if I open up a different one, and I decide I'm going to use this American voice, right? I like that, right? I can just go here to Slates and Cues, and I have all of the different commands loaded here in this browser, right? So I can audition One, two, those. Three, four. Maybe I just need a regular count, or maybe I need a longer count. One, two. One, two, three, four. You know what I'm saying? But let's say we're going to put the intro in here. So I'd go down. Of course, it's alphabetical. Let's let's give myself a long intro. So we have it like let's just say intro long, right? Intro long, right? So we click there. Give myself some space. Drag that in. Drop it on the track. Now, intro, two, one, two, three, four. Then I know I got a verse coming up, right? So I can take that verse, drag that in there. Probably somewhere around in there because I think the verse comes in right about there. Now we got that in there. Verse. There we go. Two. You know, in this song, if you know the format, it repeats right here, right? So then I could just go up and grab a repeat. So click on the wrong thing, drag it up here. You know, so now we got. Repeat. Two. One, two, three, four. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much the premise of creating tracks really, really quickly and going through. If I wasn't explaining, I could jump through it a whole lot quicker. You know, just going in, finding my clicks, finding my cues, dragging them in, dropping them at the bar that they need to be in. But what's also cool is the fact that we made it to where everything is mapped here. Because sometimes you have like more complex commands that you need to give in a moment. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it needs to be a whole lot longer. Like you need to give multiple things. So it's not just like repeat two, three, four, or verse two, three, four. It's like chorus, bridge, one, you know what I mean? Chorus, drive it, you know, something, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like if I go back here, there's a section right here when it get ready to go into the, um, so I got multiple commands there. I got like a break, a tag, a break, and then a, uh, you know, leading into my chorus. So I come here and find tag. my tag, right? So we got the tag here. We got the breakdown. You know, if I got here, so I'll show you guys. We got the tag here. Tag. Right? Then we got the break, break right here. And then let's see, like, or maybe we could do drive it. Stab the one. Drive it. You know, we could do like drive it. So we have tag, tag break. break. One, two, three. three. I do it like chorus. And then coming into the chorus. So something like that, I would just play it in into the into the uh, actual session because it's faster to do that.
So you see what I'm saying? It's just a whole lot easier and simpler and click quicker to just get in there and play the parts out. So it's almost like you're MDing by playing the keys. And I think that's like the dope premise around it. It gives you options to where you can uh, be able to build your track by dragging. Because some people like, I talked to a lot of programmers when we were building this, and some guys just like to drag stuff in. They're used to that workflow. But I, I talked to one programmer, he's like, yo, I drag the numbers in, I drag everything in one by one verse, and then I go find number one, drag number one in, and I go find number two and drag that in. Then I go find this, you know, or I built it into an Ableton drum rack and was trying to figure it out with MIDI. Uh, so he was like, this solves a problem that I didn't even know I had because I was just doing things a certain way, right? So that's the whole point is how do you get in here and get down and dirty and get really, really quick with it? Uh, so that's the whole purpose uh, and point of uh, guide track. It allows you to do that sort of thing. We, you know, just for some fun kicks and giggles, we had some verb. Intro, intro, verse. You know what I mean? And then this one is more kind of really cool verse, because verse, verse two. You know, we have different sets of ears. Everybody has like different, um, different in ears and monitor systems that they use on uh, Sundays for gigs, for playback, all of those things like that, right? But you know, sometimes not all of those are made equal. So sometimes you have ears that are really, really sharp, and sometimes you have ears that are really, really dull. So my thought process was build in a brightness knob, you know what I mean, so I could be able to uh, lock it in. Uh, so if I need to make my cues brighter, then I can do that. Two, one, two, three, four. Or if my ears are too sharp, I could just bring it down and dull it a little bit. So that's something that's a little bit, you know, more useful uh, in those practical cases like that. You know, and it's just it's, it's guide track. That's pretty much the workflow. That's pretty much the vibe of what it is. It's a uh, basic kind of plug in that solves a problem that you probably didn't even know you had at the time. You know what I'm saying? So that's the whole workflow of guide track and how it works. Uh, so it's really, really dope. I'm excited to be able to bring this to you guys today. Intro. Two, three, four. Foro, dos, tres, cuatro. Back to the top. Two, three. Take it out. Stab the one. One, two, three, four. 